Aaron, first home run, I think, in 15 games. In the first inning, you fouled that one off. That would have went out if it stayed fair. Did that help with your next swing when you did hit it out? Uh, not really. I was more mad that I missed that pitch, you know, to be honest. Uh, he threw a good fastball off the plate. I was able to foul off, but uh, no, I just, it was, I got one over the plate. You know, I got one, you know, a lot of guys the past couple past week or so really been throwing a lot of change up sliders you know off the plate just trying to clip the zone you know so uh to get one over the plate you know just just can't miss it after last week what happened at Fenway to do what you did to these guys here at Yankee Stadium what does that mean to sweep this team that's, that's what we're supposed to do you know being a first place team um we just went out there and took care of business. You know, it doesn't matter who we're playing. You know, if it's a first place, second place, third place team, you know, we're going to go out there and take care of business. And that's what we did. You know, we were out there and um, just went out and did our job. And uh, dealt with so many injuries this year, including yours. But uh, after the last two days, I mean, at some point, you just said, enough already? I mean, is it, is it frustrating at all or, or distressing at all? You can't really think about it. Like I said, next guy's up. We just keep moving along. You know, if we keep trying to look back at you know, these past injuries, this guy got hurt. You know, we're we still got a job to do. You know, we still got a lot of season left to play and uh, a lot of baseball to play in October. So we're just gonna keep moving along, and each guy's gonna get step up and keep doing their job. And that's the coolest thing about this team is um, no one's just trying to take the load on their, on themselves. You know, everyone's trying to pass the baton and you know share the responsibility. You know, if I did my job, you know, I know the guy behind me is gonna do his job. Says that uh, Glaber's got a core issue, going to the hospital for some tests. I know you guys are used to that, but what's your level of concern about him? No, G GT's a tough kid. You know, I think he'll, he'll be good. You know, I kind of hope he shows up for Baltimore. You know, he likes to likes to hit at Camden Yards, so that'd be uh, <laughs> be nice to have him for sure. So, uh, but he'll he'll be good. You know, I don't know the extent of his injury, but um, hopefully he'll be healthy and ready to go here in a couple days. What does that say? Well, that's the thing. You know, he was, you know, foul ball 100 miles an hour off one knee, then fouled off another another knee. And, you know, I was going up and down the dugout saying, hey, he's going to hit a home run right here. You know, it's just, it's just bound to happen. The whole, whole crowd was chanting his name and everything. But, uh, no, he's, he's just, it's, this whole team's tough. You know, everyone's tough. You know, we know what we've been through. So I think that's what motivates a lot of us. We know what how hard everybody's working. We know how beat up everybody is. And, you know, we got to stay in there and keep fighting. Jay's kind of a he says he addressed the team after the game. Said a few things in here again. That say some things is it meaningful to you? Yeah, he won the belt tonight, and you know for you know what a performance he did against one of the really good offense. And um, yeah, anytime Jay speaks, you know he controls a room. You know he's a veteran that's been around the game for a long time, done a lot of great things in this game. So um, yeah, to hear him speak and you know give us a couple things just about hey, keep moving forward. You know that's his biggest message: just keep moving forward. You know no matter what. So. Did you guys need to hear that? Now? It doesn't hurt.